What's up YouTube, it's your boy Pedro here once more and I'm here to talk to you about my vlogging setup. It's like my everyday vlogging setup. Well, not like every day when I'm going out a vlog, but like my vlogging setup. Roll intro. So this has been my vlogging setup for quite some time now, for about like probably five probably three to five months i'm not sure how long but yeah i've been using the sony a7c as my main blogging setup like on the go blogging setup i've been using it to take professional photos yes yeah because it's it's a full frame camera so might as well but nevertheless let me tell you about my blogging setup so right now i am using a tamron 20 2.8 Eight. This is one of the cheapest vlogging lens you can get out there on the market. This is not even three hundred dollars, and it's a full frame lens. But at two point, at two point eight, I, I am okay with it. I'm okay with it. At two point eight, is it's fine. Um, but it's very small, as you can see. Let me see. Very small. Very compact. So one of the main reasons why I got the Sony A7C for vlogging because it's a full frame camera and the C in the Sony A7C means compact. It's very compact, very small. You can just put in a pocket, well, without a lens. And a flippy screen. It has a flippy screen so I can actually see myself when vlogging. Hello world, hey YouTube, it's your boy Pedro Player. So that's one of the main reasons. And when it comes down to vlogging, you don't want to be holding up a very heavy camera because that's going to like hinder you from doing countless things right and you want to make sure that when you're vlogging it it is easy for you to capture the entire space so that's why i use the 20 2.8 because it's very wide well it's wide enough for me based on what i want it for because if i have somebody in the background i can actually get them in the shot as well and you know the flippy screen i can see i can see the, f the shot i can frame the shot perfectly right and when vlogging make sure that you use one of these nd filters so the nd that i use on this is a 77 filter thread even though this is a 67 filter thread but step up rings that's what they are made for so i can use a bigger nd on a smaller lens and I don't have to keep on buying different 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 NDs all the time. Just can use one ND. So based on the fact that I shoot log S log tree to be exact where there's no color in the video when shooting it. So when you're watching the video it's just flat. So in post production I add the colors, you know, let it pop. So when it's flat it looks like this and then i just add the colors to it so because i use an nd out in the bright sun the minimum iso that i can get from this camera is 500 unlike the sony a7 3 that i'm shooting with right now i the minimum iso at s log 3 is 800 but this is 500 that's good enough for me and because i use an nd i cut way more light than the sony a7 III. so let's talk about audio so the audio device that i'm using on this vlogging setup is the seven rhymes min bow m2 and the thing that i love about this mic okay so normally when i'm using the rode micro go the only issue that i have is just that when i'm facing somebody like this and i want to make sure that i get in the audio from them and audio from me I have to like turn the mic around it was it was hell but with this mic it has a directional mic here and a directional mic here but in order for me to use it I just flip a switch can you see the switch no probably too small no can't see can't see the switch so I just flip a switch and when I flip the switch I can pick up audio from here with me and pick up audio at the front but the only downfall with this mic is just that um when you flip the switch it's like normally the audio levels would be like 100 but when you flip the switch the audio levels like 50 50 
you get what I mean? So it's not the order in the left is not going to be like fully um how should I say this? It's not it's not that strong. But it works. Don't get me wrong, it works. And I must say thank you, Seven Rhymes, for sending me this mic. It's it's very fabulous. I've been using this for quite some time. Well since I got it. And yes, I have a cage on my plugin setup because I like I like to add different accessories and not only that I use this camera for professional for professional work as well yes you can use this camera for professional work because the quality is good whoops wow because the quality is good yes the quality is good and if I should shoot if I should take this up and then pair it with the a7 III you won't know the difference the cage that I'm using is called the Nitsi I hope I pronounce it right yes thank you Nitsi for sending me this cage and I must say I really love it Yes, let's talk about the base of this vlogging setup. So, normally people would be using the Gorilla Pods because yo, you can just wrap them around different places. But I don't like that because the first time I, the last time I used one was like two years ago, and uh, it was hell. The legs just keep on falling out. But because I'm using the bullet from the Gorilla Pod, yeah. But I'm using the Zion Crane 2S leg. Yes, that, that's 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 it. I'm, I'm using the legs from the Zion Crane to it because it's very sturdy. It's it's very strong. Like it's very strong. Like I rather this grip because I'm using the twenty. I don't need that that ball the gorilla pod thingy. No, I don't need it. Yeah, I really don't need it. And remember, whenever you're buying a camera, you see this screen right here. Always remember to buy a tempered glass to protect your camera. The cage, I use the cage to protect my camera as well. But always remember to buy a tempered glass to put over your camera. Always remember that. So that's it guys. So that's my Sony A7C vlogging setup. I hope you liked it. And I hope you understand that. Yo, it's an, this is an amazing camera. Like the price for the camera. It's amazing. So yeah. So like, comment, subscribe if you want more videos like this. And also, I'll be doing a in-depth video with the mic and an in-depth video with the cage as well. So I'll see you guys in another video. I don't know when, I don't know where. Eh, probably here. Peace. That's, that's it. I, I failed.